I just want to put this disclaimer at the start of the video because I, I actually, uh, I got the, I got the word Tootsie Roll and Twinkie confused. So please don't judge me. I'm assuming that's the Tootsie. The Tootsie. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something that I've done before, kind of, sort of a different country, but we're going to be tasting American snacks. For some reason, despite this being done by almost every Australian YouTuber possible, uh, highly requested. And listen, I'm on a diet at the moment, so this kind of defeats the entire part of dieting, but you know what? I'ma enjoy it. I'ma um, let you know what an Australian thinks of American snacks. I'm ready. I'm not sure my stomach's ready, but I'm ready. Now, listen, I've been fortunate enough to go to America quite a few times now. So I have tried a couple, not of these ones. So I tried to pick ones that I've never tried before and I'm excited. My stomach is excited. The fact that I'm going to gain from this video, not so excited about that. This is extremely overwhelming. I don't even think we have cans this big in Australia. 99 cents for that? What a bargain. This is an Arizona all natural flavor watermelon fruit juice cocktail. Uh, is there alcohol in this? If you say otherwise, then I'ma fight you. Okay, so there's 300 calories in this entire thing. Am I gonna drink the entire thing? I'm gonna try and be healthy, but look at how that's turned out. Ooh, baby. So this is watermelon flavor, baby. Contains 10% juice. I'm the pinnacle of health, everyone. Let's see what the taste test is for an Arizona. Look at the size of it compared to my head, guys. This is overwhelming. Ooh. Ooh, that's tasty. It's not too overwhelming. It's actually quite refreshing. And it's not, I thought it was gonna be fizzy. It's not fizzy. Guys, is this like a drink that all Americans drink? This was on the site. This said that this was all American stuff. I could be wrong. I don't know. Tastes like a lolly though. It definitely doesn't taste healthy. I'm not walking away from that going, mmm, juice. I feel like I'm clean and healthy and satisfied inside, but it tastes damn delicious. Okay, let's go into the food. I've never in my life tried a Pop-Tart and this one's a s'mores Pop-Tart. Like I see David Dobrik talking about Pop-Tarts on his stories, but I've never tried one. They don't sell them here in Australia. I mean, they probably do it like specialty stores, but um, not like in the shops. Like you can't just go buy a Pop-Tart unless I'm, I'm wrong. Listen, Australians out there, let me know if I'm wrong, but also I'm about to tell you if these are worth buying online because it's a s'more Pop-Tart, guys. A s'more. Can you just eat it out the packet or do you got to heat it up? or heat or freeze. Damn, so you meant to heat up Pop-Tarts? I'm too lazy to go to the microwave. How many calories? 200 calories in a full one. Oh, all right, we ready? Here we have a beautiful Pop-Tart. Guys, isn't she gorgeous? All right. I've never had a s'more, so I don't know what s'mores are meant to taste like. I mean, it's sugar, so it's of course gonna be good. Mmm. This tastes like a biscuit. Not a bad biscuit. Not like, oh my God, I need these in my life. Not. Not as good as this drink. I thoroughly enjoyed this. What is the verdict on Pop-Tarts? I don't know if these are even the best Pop-Tart flavor, but I just saw s'mores and I was like, ooh, get my belly. They probably better heat it up to be honest, but you know what, your girl's lazy. She's making a mess. Mm, America. Don't get mad Americans who like Pop-Tarts. I'm a little bit disappointed. I've heard nothing but good things about Pop-Tarts. I don't know if I've got the wrong flavor. I don't know if I need to heat it up. I don't know if my taste buds are just whack. I don't know. Celery looking pretty good right now. You know what I'm saying? All right, what we got next? We got Funyuns. Fun, fun, Funyuns? Funyuns. We got some Funyuns. These are onion flavored rings. Now we've got burger rings. So do you guys have burger rings? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I'll give it a crack. Listen, I'm open to the idea. Doesn't smell like burger rings. Smells like Funyuns. Is that, is that what it is? That's what they're called, right? Funyuns. Ooh, ooh. I forgot it said flame and hot. They're a little bit spicy. Like a good spicy though. Ooh, tasty. How's that for ASMR, guys? Ooh, sorry, I keep looking at myself eating food. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Listen, I preferred them over the Pop-Tarts, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, a bit spicy though. I will drink my Arizona, not Spawn. <coughs> what next? Oh, I love marshmallow. And this looks like what dreams are made of. This looks like a cloud. I've never, like there's nothing like this here in Australia. 40 calories per teaspoon. Look at me, I'm just like looking at how many calories everything is. This is the kind of stuff that I'm like glad it's not in Australia because I probably would eat it more, but I mean, I haven't even tried it yet, but I'm just like, it just looks so, it's literally called Fluffy. It looks Fluffy, it's named Fluffy. I need it in my belly now. Why is this seal not opening? Give me the Fluffy, ooh. I need like a spoon or something. Anyone got a spoon? Anyone got a spoon here? 
Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. These are going in a vault after I finish this video because I will get fat because I will eat them. I can guarantee it. <laughs> All right, listen, Americans, I'm impressed. Okay, what are we doing next? Holy sh**. Sorry, I just got a little bit mesmerized by the fluff. Okay, Dr. Pepper. In saying that, I feel like I tried this when I was like 10 years old. What is Dr. Pepper? Like, what is the flavor based around Dr. Pepper? Is Dr. Pepper its own thing? Kind of feels like it's a, it's a Coca-Cola thing. Anyways, the things I've heard about Dr. Pepper is like you either love it or you hate it. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting, so. Did you fucking see that? God, I'm gonna need to wipe down this desk after this video, that's for sure. The moment of truth, will Tenor like Dr. Pepper? Ooh, okay. Yes, I do remember now that it is cherry flavored. Listen, I'm very easily pleased. So it's gonna be like a, you know, more of a rating system of what one I like the most. Cause most of the time I'm gonna like all of them. It's gonna be a very rare sighting that Tanner's not gonna like every single thing that has sugar in it. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so it just tastes like cherry. Cover all 9,000 taste bud. The unfortunate thing about cherry is Panadol here, which is like a paracetamol medicine. When they do their like at home, like little syrups, it's like cherry flavor. When I drink that, yeah, I'm getting like a medicine vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like not, not down. Like I would drink, but definitely getting more like a, I should be getting pain relief. That sounds really bad. Dr. Pepper, I give like a five. Watermelon, I give like a seven. Pop-Tarts, I give like a five. Onion rings, seven. Fluff, nine. Uh, we're going good. I'm just throwing up real quick because um, the sugar overload, I'm not used to this, guys, okay? Candy corn. Guys, I literally have, like, we don't have this here. All of these things, like, we're just missing out here in Australia. I'm setting out a prediction that this literally is just sugar. It just tastes like sugar. That's all it is. Okay, well, if you could just open and not be rude. <laughs> okay, I'm... It's... <laughs> <laughs> um, just one second. I just need to call somebody to come help me open this package. Okay, this is just ridiculous. Come on. Oh, there we go. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh my god. I was expecting it to be really, really chewy. Like super, super chewy. Um, no, it's not. It, like breaks apart. Look. Like literally breaks apart. Not what I was expecting. Not disappointed. I thought it was gonna be like really chewy, like a nice chewy like red frog or something like that. Do you guys have red frogs? I don't know what Americans have compared to Australian. Maybe I'll do a video next where I eat Australian snacks and I explain what we have here in Australia. I give that a seven. Not as good as the fluff, but better than the pop tarts. All right, we're getting a bit of a uh, rhythm going here. Now we've got this. What is this? A snowball. We got, wait, that's a, that's a Tootsie Roll, right? I'm so confused. We got these two. I'm assuming that's the Tootsie. What a name for a snack. It's a tussie. It's a tussie roll. It looks tasty though. Like you can't go wrong. It's cream with a vanilla, like it's like a vanilla cake filled with cream. All right, we ready? Mmm. It's sponge cake. See, I'm getting flashbacks to my childhood because we have like, how do I describe it? Like cream rolls. It's like sponge cake rolled up with cream around it. That's exactly what it tastes like. So I don't want to say that Australia has um, better snacks, but we definitely don't have better snacks. But if I grew up in America, there would be no doubt that I would be this size. Like I've got, that's tasty. I like that. Okay, so this one's a snowball. Why is it blue? Looks like a little mini igloo. Ig igloo, it's an igloo. Igloo, is that the word? Blue igloo. My brain's hurting now. Oh, it's soft. This is gonna make a mess. Mm. I'm getting lemington vibes. And if you don't know what a lemington is, look it up, all right? I'm trying to educate Americans and Australians at the same time, and I just can't do it. I don't. I like the Tootsie Roll better. That has like the the blue outline on the top is a little bit weird for me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. When you touch, it, it's like a boob. That's it. Feels like a boob. That right there. Feels like a boob. Like, listen, I'm all talk. I can say that Australian snacks are better, but ours isn't called a Tootsie Roll, and I think that's hilarious. All right, next we got Jolly Rancher. I feel like this is something that I've heard in like TV shows and movies when it comes to America. Never had one. I don't even know what to expect. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, what it's gonna feel like. I think I'm gonna go with green apple, because an apple a day keeps the doctor away, guys. Not these kind of green apples. They will clog your arteries and you will you won't die. But okay, everything in moderation, guys. I'm only gonna have one, and it's gonna be a green apple. Do I just bite into it? I just suck it, I guess. Oh, it's like sticky, but very hot. It's weird. Nice flavor though. Can you bite into it? No, no, you can't bite into it. 
I can't talk while I've got it in my mouth. It's hard. It's good. It's good. Okay, you can do it. It's so sticky though. Oh, it's stuck to my tooth. I can't eat a whole one. It's going to get stuck to my entire freaking mouth. It feels like that's going to be stuck to my tooth for years. I know that you're probably meant to suck it and like it slowly disintegrate, but I'm one of those people that if they have like a hard lolly, I'll bite it. Never ending gobstoppers probably tries to bite it, despite the fact that you shouldn't and you will break your teeth on it. Uh, listen, the taste was delicious. I'm not just very sticky for a hard candy, like sticky. It's getting everywhere. It's getting all up in here. I'm going to have to brush my teeth after this and go to the gym. Listen, I know that there's probably healthy food in America. Like I'm not disputing that. This is just like unhealthy food in America. All right, next up, we got some big red. Now I remember going to America when I was like 10 and seeing this and being like, ooh, thinking it was like some big bad, like spicy, spicy gum. I don't know if I ever tried it though. See, like I may have tried some of these when I was younger, but the last couple times I've been to America, I've tried to eat pretty, pretty healthy. Some would say I try to, <laughs> you know, maintain the, uh, the gut, I mean, the lack thereof. Oh, it just smell like it's cinnamon. I know it's cinnamon, the moment of truth. Cinnamon's like slightly spicy in its own way, right? Is that what the spice is? It's very strong. Like I smelt it as soon as I opened the box. All right. ASMR. Ooh, I kind of like it. Got a little bit of a bite, like a cinnamon bite to it. I dig the big red. Can I blow a bubble? Hold on. See that? I did a little bubble. Whew. Okay, what's next? What's next? Let's go on to another drink. Fanta, but it's blue. See, we've got orange Fanta here, but this one's blue. It <laughs> sounds like I'm talking to kids. Blue Fanta, you're kidding. All right, I've never had this before. I've had the purple Fanta, I think, and red Fanta, but not blue Fanta. So this is like blueberry filled with sugar, overwhelmingly. Ooh, doesn't taste that far off the, the red one, not gonna lie. Ooh, I like that. I love how it says, contains no juice. It's like, damn, I thought when I had Fanta, I was getting my daily dose of fruit. Ooh, it's it's a tough choice. I kind of, oh, I think this one outweighs it. Nah, cause I, mm, I like the fizzy. I definitely like the fizzy. Dr. Pepper comes last. I'm sorry, Dr. Pepper. So I would say, oh, Fanta's, I like the fizz. Fanta comes first. I'm sorry, Fanta comes first. All right, let's go on to, got Cheetos with cheddar jalapeno. Like we have Cheetos in Australia, but we definitely don't have cheddar jalapeno. Made with real cheese? You're kidding. These kind of look like twisties. Have you guys got twisties in America? Our Cheetos don't look like this. Twisties look like this, but our Cheetos are like big and fluffy. I don't mind the little hint of jalapeno. I like it. I'm just like trying to describe what it tastes like. Just tastes like cheese and jalapeno. Wow, guess what? They're cheese and jalapeno. Who would have thought? No, they're good. I think I like the onion rings definitely better when it comes to the savory stuff. Not gonna dispute that. L little bit of bite to it. I'd say the, on the onion rings are definitely spicier. It's like getting hotter as it's in my mouth. And I like spice. So this is like, I feel like I'm being a bit of a right now. Like this is not that spicy. I don't know what I'm going on about. All right, what's next? We got some cinnamon toast crunch. Is that like Captain Crunch? No, they look good. I mean, he looks happy. We're about to eat him and his friends. Now I'm not gonna go get milk cause I'm lazy. I'm not actually gonna sit here and have a bowl of cereal, but I'll give it a crack having a handful of dry cereal. I'm gonna yell that for doing that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. It literally tastes like a crunchy donut. Oh my God. This is delicious. I think this is my favorite so far. Yum. Oh my God. It tastes like a donut and I love donuts. We're on the home stretch now, guys. It's all good. Now we've got Jelly Belly, which obviously we have in Australia, but I've never seen Krispy Kreme donuts, like a flavor. And we have Krispy Kreme donuts in 7-Elevens here. I love. I cannot express how much I love Krispy Kreme donuts. So if these taste anything like them, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna enjoy myself for just a split moment and then remember that these are unhealthy. Original glaze, that's what I want. Original glaze, because I just love a good original glazed Krispy Kreme. Okay, moment of truth. Kind of doesn't taste like it. Hold on, let me just try again. No, I don't think it tastes like, I don't think it tastes like an original glaze. I'm, I'm disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Usually Jelly Belly's pretty spot on. Let me just try all of them. Yeah, I'm disappointed. They, so they can come out with one that tastes like foot, but they can't actually capture the beautiful taste of an original glazed Krispy Kreme donut. I'm shocked. I mean, it still tastes like sugar. It doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste what I was expecting. I was, I was going into that with high, high hopes and I was just, I was just disappointed. But not to worry, now we have, oh, this is a Tootsie Roll. Then what was that? What the f I've been calling that a Tootsie Roll the whole time and it's not even a Tootsie Roll. 
A Twinkie, it's a Twinkie. Okay, what does an actual Tootsie Roll taste like? Is it just chocolate? It's like chocolate fudge, that's what it looks like. See, I'm just embarrassed now. Like, I just don't want to go on because I'm just embarrassed. Yeah, it's like chocolate fudge. Not a fan of the Tootsie Roll. Once again, it tastes like chocolate and sugar, so it's not that bad, but I'm just like not digging it, you know? I'd rather waste my calories on this bad boy. Do I want to have another bite? I don't know. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure that I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. All right, last but not least, Razzles. First, it's candy. Then, it's gum. Lemon, raspberry, grape. Ooh, I like grape. All right, let's rip in, fellas. How, where's the... How do I open the packet? Hello? All right, what do we want? We want grape. Where's the purple? Where's purple? I don't think there's any purple. Like, I'm not even joking. I feel like my whole life's been a lie. There's, like, no pink and purple. Razzles? They would have been my two choices. There's none, I swear. I'm actually so angry at that. Excuse me. I'm putting in a complaint. Okay, we've got a raspberry, but no purple. I swear to God, there's no purple. Me just stressfully looking through my packet of razzles. All right, ready, ready, a razzle. Candy, then it's gum. This is weird. I feel like I should swallow it, but I know it's gum, so I should. Oh, really weird. Oh, turn into gum. Weird, don't like it, not a fan. It's a no from me, guys, I'm sorry. I hate to end it on that note. It's just like, it was like a weird sensation of like the lolly falling apart and then turning into gum. Like I wanted to just swallow it. And then I realized this is meant to turn into gum. And you know, gum sits in your stomach for seven years. Did you know that? Scary, man. Damn, okay. Of all things to walk out of confused, a food eating video. Like I was shocked. Some were disappointing. Some went above and beyond. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, hell yeah. I just don't know how to feel now. Razzle Dazzles, you're going in the bin. Where's my grape? Candy corn, like, confused me with the texture. Jolly Ranches, sounds delicious. I liked the jalapeno, but onion rings were my favorite. This, if I could marry an inanimate object, probably be this. And Dr. Pepper, no. Arizona, yes. Fanta, definitely. Pop-Tarts, I expected more from you. Big Red, not bad. Actually, not bad. I have found some new favorite foods, new treats, I would say. Like, I'm, I'm not, you can't eat any of this all the time. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. If you want to see an Australian snacks video, I mean, it's me eating snacks that I already know and love. I don't know, maybe it could be a little bit of an insight to the Australian culture. I'm sorry that I named some of these wrongs. I'm so sorry, Tootsie Roll. You did not deserve that. Twinkie, I'm so sorry. Okay, seriously, subscribe. I'm off to the gym.